Hello everybody, welcome back to another match with my growth deck. Um, hmm, hmm. Sack that, and in a turn. This is definitely not as good of an opening hand as my last one. <laughs> that kinfolk veteran should be a brave, the vitality well should probably be a wolf. Ancestral totem should be another bear paw. Oh well. We'll see how this goes. Order, huh? Wildling. Hmm. Okay. That could be a start of a problem right there. Oh my god, all these high, high casting cards. Mm. Man, who do I get? Mm. It's most unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to play a creature until turn four. That's terrible. Huh. Walking stones, huh? Oh my god, King Flick Yarl. Not gonna be able to play him for a while, so let's just uh let's just sack him for now. Let's play a brother here. Hmm. Oh. In the turn? bad growth decks don't have a, uh, a tick bomb like a vine bomb or something all right bonk let's um hmm. <laughs> guess let's Play the Vetter. Huh. Sack an Ancestral Totem to play an Ancestral Totem? That seems good, right? I don't want to sack my Veteran. So, I guess I'll just sack the Ancestral Totem. There we go. Because now my Veteran is a 4 damage, you know, instant attack, so... So he's gonna hide behind the walking stones, that's okay. I'm going to summon a wolf. Play a kinfolk brave behind it. Dang. You know, I wanted to play the veteran to have four damage dealt instantly, but like I can hold off. I think I'll hold off. Yeah, I'll hold off. Shh. That could be a mistake. It could be a mistake. But that's an instant four damage. So that's... That's really good. I don't want to get rid of that. Because right now, he thinks I can only deal three damage down here. There's the Honorable General, huh? Alright, um... Let's summon him here. There you go, he's hasted. So he'll do 4 damage to this General. Of course, he's gonna be dead next, next turn. Um... Let's... Hmm... I would like to put Bear Paul on... The kinfolk brave, so... Now, since he only has two damage, or two life left, I can range a poison him and kill him relatively quickly. I'm sure my veteran's dead this turn from the, uh, vanguard.
Hmm. Okay. He's gonna have to move up the infantry guy if he wants my veteran dead. Oh, guess he doesn't. Oh, give me a rally. Or a quake. No, a quake's not gonna work right now. Okay. Let's start breaking down this damn walking stones. We need to take the center since he's taking the top. Let's actually get rid of Quake right now. Summon another Kinfolk Brave. Yeah. Summon a sister. Binding roots, huh? Binding Roots the Vanguard, so he can't get away. We'll move him up. Oh, actually, I should have moved him back. Oh, well. Yeah, that was a bad move. Um. Oh, well. Let's go. So I binding roots him so he could not escape. Alright, so that's gonna be his one card for the turn. A good card to play, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing card. But now I know that um, there's no other surprises, so no one's going to attack me. So the vanguard's dead, the general I think should be dead, yeah. Yeah. Both of them are gonna be dead this turn. Okay, let's see here, how do I want to do this, I'll have you move up there, I'll have you move up there to be a blocker for the kinfolk, um, move you up to finish him off, move him up, Let's... Champion ring of this guy. Oh. Well, yeah, let's champion ring him right now. And, um, actually, I could probably just bear palm right now, too. Okay, let's end the turn. So the board's basically cleared, and I am now threatening every single lane. Um, whatever he summons is probably going to be back here to be protected by the wall. A spearman, huh? a skirmisher. Okay, well we'll kill the skirmisher. We're gonna move him down. He will summon a wolf there. Move him down. Um let's actually sack this for more cards. Summon another brother. Oh hold on. Let me cast eye the eagle first. Summon a sister. I don't want to do this. I need a plan for the future. So this wall is dead this turn. Let's start moving this guy down. Let's move him behind the wolf for a blocker. We'll move the sister down. 
summon in another sister, actually another brother, here, yeah. There we go. So there we go. Now these people are out in the open. Not really sure what Yid Yid how do you say that? Yigurex can do right now. If he had a quake, then that would be devastating, but I mean obviously order does not have a quake or even a quake like card. Closest I can think is like um decimation. Okay. Mangy Wolf, huh? So they can destroy that, they could destroy that. Hmm. At this point, I'm just gonna sack her for more cards. Another Ancestral Totem. Trying to think. I can kill both of them this turn. I think. There we go. Sorry, it took me a while. I was I was trying to think of the way I needed to move my people around so that I could kill both of these guys this turn. My bad. I did put my Kenfolk Brave at risk, obviously. What? That's not the lane I'm attacking. Oh well, it's GG I guess anyway. Alright, so I will um I'll say GG to my opponent. That's enough, that's enough. Alright. So good game to my opponent. Um much like in the last game, I just had a ton of creatures out on the board before my opponent could, and I was able to respond to him. And I'm really shocked my Kittenfolk veteran lived through that. He should have been dead the first turn he was out. But for whatever reason, my opponent didn't, um, chose not to kill him. So anyway, good, good game to my opponent. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.